Alright, if your pop-up trailer doesn't have any um, specified places in the owner's manual or anywhere on the trailer um, that are safe to jack it up, it's not like a car. You can't really put the jack under the axle because you could bend the axle on the pop-up trailer and it can throw the camber off. Um, so there wasn't a whole lot of great information on this on the internet, so I figured I'd shoot a video for you guys real quick. If you have a tire that's blown out on the side of the road or you need to change a tire and put a better tire on, um, you know, here's a way that you can do it safely without messing up your pop-up trailer. Um, we, there wasn't any literature on where to safely <coughs> um, jack this one up, so the place to do it is this is a two-ton floor jack, but if you have like a scissors jack or a cheap jack that you keep in your pop-up, um, you can place it right under here. You want to get it under like the cross member on the trailer, right where the two cross members meet. You know, preferably as close to the tire as you can that you want to service. Um, so that's where the, the cross member is. So I'm going to jack this up. And it's going to come to rest right between the two crosses on the cross member. And what you want to do is you want to get it secured there. And then depending on what you have, right here we have a four-way uh, breaker bar. And you can use that to break the lug nuts free on the tire. Um, I'm not going to take these off because they're a huge pain to get back on. There's no studs on the hub. Um, on this particular pop-up trailer, those four um, lug nuts that are on it, have the studs on them and it's a big pain in the butt to line them all up so I'm going to describe it to you. You're going to break all these nuts free, all the ties on the ground. Um, don't completely take them off, just you know get them so that they're loose and you can take them off with your fingers. Once they're loose, jack up the trailer. You don't have to jack it way up in the air, just a little bit so that the tire just off the ground so that's perfect right there and then you can take the four lugs or five lugs how many lugs you have on your tire off um, put your spare tire on or your brand new tire um, tighten up all the lug nuts and then put your trailer back on the ground and then once the trailer is back on the ground with some weight on it then go around the lug nuts in a crisscross pattern you're gonna go from this side to the side to the side to the side and tighten them up in a crisscross pattern. You don't want to go from here to here to here to here. That's not how you do it. <clears throat> that way there, <clears throat> the rim will seat equally fine. Um, and then once the, the tires are on the ground, snug them all up and, you know, take the trailer down the road a little bit and then you can recheck the bolts to make sure that they stay tight. Um, once you've put you know a couple miles on the wheel by snug them up really good You don't have to really crank down on them hard because they'll probably break the stud But you know just snug and, and firmly tight is good So we hope you liked the video and uh, that's exactly how you should service a tire in your pop-up trailer right with those The frame crosses is a good secure spot and won't buckle the floor and uh, won't damage the uh, beam between the two ties